Uh. Greetings, fellow vampires. Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. I gotta learn to look at the camera. Just finished coughing, so... I'm stretching it out on the insides before we sit down for the long haul. Actually, should have done this beforehand, but... <sighs> Bet you Troy doesn't want to hear my entire recording. <sighs> Maybe just the cadences through the floor. Anyways... Let's, uh, quick start sucks as much as I've tried to use it. Uh, I need to survive 20 minutes in what I've played. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to play Operation Guns, um, which we're going to get into once we start. Oh, do I have to unlock all these people to, yeah, like Bill and Lance. Find and open the coffin in Neo Galuga. All right, so these people are still locked. Um... A million bajillion years ago, depending on how far back you go looking on my channel, uh, I did previously play this, um, and it wasn't too long ago in game, because I kind of dropped it, let it go. Anyways, uh, I'm back now, I'm back now, so let's see, well, let's see what it takes to unlock one, because then maybe that'll be next one, so, find and open the coffin in Neo Galuga, that's the first one, or at least that's the one I want, so let's go to, and that's a horse, okay. And then, what character are we going to use? I can't remember the last one I used in the channel, but... Uh, you know what? I need I needed to survive with somebody, so let's see who I need to survive with. Or reach level... Yeah, level 50 with Demario. He sucks so bad. Porta. That's just for those, but those are challenges. Those are the challenges that I need to do. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's try port. Let's try. Let's try to reach the level forty with Porta. There's Porta. Oh, I already used Porta, but Porta's got lightning, and I like the lightning. What's Porta's other costume like? Ugh. Oh, the look at this one's kind of nice on Porta. That's fine. All right. And then, theoretically, we have a new level called Neo Galuga. Yeah, we do. Join Contra Force to run and gun across the relentlessly horizontal width of Galuga. From jungle to Neo City, horrors looking beyond. Let's survive determinately. Okay. Um, hopefully you've played this game. Proves a random stat, throws a bouncing projectile, throws a bouncing projectile, explodes sometimes. I'm actually going to keep my money because you often have to pay to use the characters. Um, anyways, I don't, um... <laughs> it's a damn counter get level in this game, that's so amusing. Uh... I need the attractor because I get the feeling with, you know, Lightning Man. It's going to be all over the map. <clears throat> Not sure what you do and don't know about this game. Hopefully you've played it, and if you haven't, I mean, you should, because this game costs, I don't know, like $4 for the base game, and then like for all the DLC, which is so much DLC at this point. I don't know what, I don't know what any of that is. I'm assuming the coffin's a question mark, but I still haven't got a good grasp on what the map is. You know, like, I've, I've got the guides on, so you can see everything that's on the, around the perimeters of the map. That's what I'll be hunting down, um, aside from kills, but, uh... Let's do the cat. Let's do the cat. We're just gonna do some wild out stuff, but let's see what we got so far. The cat plus something equals something. Lightning plus something equals something. And I don't see the bone up there. Oh, there's two screens now. Because, of course, they added a bunch more. DLC. Love DLC. Alright, well, I don't see the bone up there, so it's got to be one of the question marks. So let's grab the bone the next time it pops up. In fact, oh, I, I, screwed, the, I screwed the pooch on the merchant already. Um, <clears throat> you know, this game being roguelike, like so many games are designed this way, you know, like failures, I don't want to say part of the experience, because you can... There is a success state in this game. You have to survive for 30 minutes. Um... And then the Grim Reaper shows up and just kind of ends your run no matter what. Allows you to choose an extra passive weapon. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Uh, I think Duplicator is one I haven't really. All right, all right. I like that. Uh, can I? Can I get that? Lightning bolts. Get it. Lightning bolts. Ah, oh, this guy. Porta. Is this Porta? I can't remember now. I already forgot who I was. Oh, they seem to fly about pretty common. There we go. There's the thing I was looking for. What's this? Levels up a randomly equipped weapon. Gives me a revival. Does not occupy a weapon slot. I love that. Can't cross the water. Alright, let's see how far this map goes. Anyway, you know, the game's only been out about, I guess, two years. But it got... Maybe it's been out a little longer. I, I really don't know. But I've only been exposed to it for about two years. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I need I need some we gotta put some damage on the board quickly because this is gonna get real. Um So hopefully you've got some familiarity with it. If you don't, you know, like I, you know, hopefully my playthrough here gives you some understanding of what the game is about. Uh essentially this is it. You just walk around with a bunch of passive weapons. Uh, just kind of going crazy around you. Now, that being said, depending on the character you pick, depending on the map you're running on, you usually have some pretty, you know, like, fascinating results by about this time, but... Yeah, I want that. Oh, and you just, you just gave me a random one that time? Okay, cool. I feel like last time it let me pick, but whatever. That's the cats. Um... Yeah, this is this is not a good build. So this might not. I might you know I might actually get killed this time around. I mean, you get killed either way. You can't. I don't think you can actually live through a run. Um, <clears throat> there are some unlocks listed for making it to the displays a detailed map. Okay. I don't know what that is, but we'll keep on marching. Oh, it's up there. I don't know how to get up there. I also might not live very much longer because this map is definitely designed for somebody with like an up close and personal move. And I clearly ain't got it. Oh, look at that. Juked you. I want that, whatever it is. Oh, I'm going down here. I'm burning. I'm burning in the streets. All right, maybe now I can mount an offensive. Maybe I can get some experience going. No, I'm just getting cornered and destroyed. Uh, cats, help. Um, ate the sparrow. That's close to me personally. That's That will work for now. <clears throat> I thought I was going to get to just like play around, but apparently it's more along the lines of like I'll be, you know, <laughs> making some desperate choices based on what's going on at the time. Um,. But that's the point of the game. The more and more you do, the more like the the, the, the intensity of the mobs increase, uh, but also so do your power ups, and you can make some truly ridiculous builds on top of the fact that there's like some things in the game that you just naturally unlock by playing, like the the arcanas, um, some of the evolved weaponry. Um, you know, they just do an incredible amount of damage to the mobs, and so if you really want to, don't really care about that. Uh, let's Santa Water help me out. Treasure. But what there really is is a logic to how you should play, right? Because certainly you could make yourself impervious and then just kind of stand in the middle. But that's not the goal. In order to get, you know, the goals are on that unlock page, and there are there are so many of them. Um, and most of them come, you know, to the tune of like, all right. Um. All right, so we've got some destructive power at our disposal now. Not really. It's still not looking great. I would really like that, but oh, I think I got it. That's great. Yeah, our destructive power is still not magnificent. So maybe we ought to just, like, hustle. <coughs> are these some of the lurking horrors that were discussed earlier? Those are my cats. Don't worry. Oh, nuke! Get nuked. No, I got to get up there somehow. That's interesting. You know, not all the maps have obstacles, you know? Some of the maps you can pretty just freely walk around, they're infinite. It's kind of like Tekken in that way. Uh, I'm gonna get so jacked, right? I'm getting just totally jacked right now. Oh, it's... 
Yeah, I need that. Real bad. Whatever it is. Uh, the experience, although I really wanted those for- Oh my god, look at those rockets. <laughs> Never mind. Shoutouts to the rockets. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I said, so I, I, I put the game down for a very long time because I had a lot of other games to play. <coughs> Hashtag Dave the Diver. And, um, you know, in, the, in that time, they've done a ton of DLC because the game got really, really popular. Uh, and it's obviously very popular with some, some kind of old school game heads. The point is, like, most of the stuff they want to do crossovers with or license with, you know, they, they, the, 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 the licenses have lapsed. Um, so they've really kind of, or they're, you know, they're people who are cooperative. So they've really kind of had their way with, I mean, Lord knows what they didn't get to use. But the point is they did all this, like, Contra stuff first, and it, I, I get the feeling that maybe that was, like, an experimental thing that was, like, hey, give us Contra, and then we'll see if, you know, then, like, maybe you guys can play with the Castlevania license. And then, sure enough, you know... Uh, I want the attractor because I'm I'm going collecting, I'm going hunting, because now we're finally doing some real damage. But this map is chaos. Oh, I do. I have a detailed map. I have. This is the one. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. that. Point is, this game, <clears throat> albeit heavily inspired. But, uh, yeah, I guess I wasn't supposed to come down from there. I was supposed to go across. Let's try and get to it. I mean, I don't know. That might be... Oh, turkey. Turkey. I mean, turkey. There we go. All right. There we go. I am going to need a little more firepower. I see that now. Oh, max health is even better. There we go. Well, if I survive this current wave of attack, let's get out of this current location. Goodness gracious, they're everywhere. There's movement all over the place. I can't remember if my goal was, I'm assuming it was a level count. Yeah, my goal was level. Case in point, um, in this case, you know, what I'm actually trying to accomplish here is reaching a certain level cap. Not even cap, just reach a certain level with this character, this Porta character. Um... And that can be an easier task on some levels than others, you know, like, especially in a case like this where I'm trying to accomplish goals, I find things. But, <clears throat> as you learn very quickly in this game, um, you're going to die. Um, even, you know, like, once you figure out, like, oh, this is my, this is how I play, these are the weapons I want. Um, you're gonna come, oh, what, thank you, thank you, goodness, that was just perfectly timed, perfectly, perfectly, perfectly timed. Armor sounds great, because I'm about to walk right through this thing, yep, there we go. You can give me some treasure, but I'm trying to get back to that road, because I want to get all those things. <clears throat> oh, but you're dropping so much experience. But, if I get a thing, then... I get all the experience that's on the board. I just have to survive to grab it. Alright, that's how you get back up. I don't think I'm going to survive, right? I mean, obviously. But I don't think I'm going to make it to 30 minutes. Because I didn't know what I was doing. Let's go ahead and have the lightning be a little bit more powerful and see if I can't survive. I do definitely have a revive at my disposal, right? So even if I go down... Yeah, there was no way off of the bridge here. I can't jump this. Maybe there's a way to detonate the bridge, or maybe it was... Oh, it was going all the way around over there? Wow, this map is serious. You guys aren't playing around. Alright, let's... We gotta see if we can get to build, right? Let's, that's the whole point of this mission. <laughs> uh, also, nice little fun fact. If you are enjoying the tunes in this game, every single track is... Number one, you can buy it off Steam, right? Like, if you got Steam... Support this game, four bucks, get the soundtrack with it too. I think it's like two bucks for the soundtrack, and I think it includes all the new tracks they've done. But even if it doesn't... <clears throat> That's what I want. Yeah. Although I probably should have tear my suit since I want to survive this bad boy. But it's not going to be for nothing if I just die. Can I get off of this building? Pretty please, with sugar on top. Is there any meat on the map? No, there's no meat. So let's just go up there to that 
Bro. Meat. There we go. Boom. I've been playing a lot of games without, uh, a door. Maybe not without stakes, but with less stakes, you know, casual games, easier games, whatever, farming games, etc. Um, so the good old-fashioned, just like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, feels of playing a game haven't really been, yeah, whatever. Mm. I don't want that. Oh, uh, Spellbinders. Oh, Pomerola. Yeah, Pomerola is uh, health regen. <clears throat> um, and as maybe you can't, because that's where I am. Crap. It's kind of important to this game, so I don't want to just like not have it be on there. Alright. There we go. Um, top left is my current loadout. Like all the all the equipment I have going. There we go. That's what I needed, right? So now I can just go bananas. Let's armor because we're about to walk through some trouble. Come on, goodies. Get to me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that guy. There's meat over there, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, tractor, just like whatever. Can we kill it with all this power that's happening? We can. Eight. Just get me through this pile. Cats level up. Who cares? It's totally fine. I want to kill this thing. Uh, kind of the strategy, the actual strategy of the game. Uh. <clears throat> You know, like, certainly from leveling up, you get a lot of abilities, but the treasure chests, are, are, they contain a lot of special things. Number one, things you can't get from the leveling system. Um, you get them for free, out of the treasure chest, free. You know, you gotta kill whatever gets you the treasure chest, but B... Mm -hmm. Armor, because it's getting real red. I'm trying to kill this thing. It's not going down. It's just, you know, it's just the best way to get stuff versus just kind of mindlessly leveling up doesn't get you, there's no, no, like the gold multiplier, all that doesn't happen if you just like beat up monsters. Anyway, there are only very specific monsters that drop treasure chests, so even if you're not on like a, a relic hunt, you're not hunting specifically for things in the level, you know, you can target the big mobs, and that being so you need the firepower, you need the survivability, you need the skill to put them down and also like you can't let them get off screen because they do despawn you know in a very like old school video game kind of way you can uh, it's, right you can push them a little too far out of the periphery and then the game just forgets about them I mean I'm sure that's how it keeps from like just mobbing you right because if they never despawned if none of the monsters ever despawned when you ran then one day they would just finally catch up to you and that would just be you know nightmare nightmare city but no yeah I, th I thought maybe those were my cats but no those are bad cats those are bad enemy cats uh i mean i like the cross right the cross is really doing the damage but now that we are kind of a you know a kind of a moving tank of destruction um, and that's the thing, oh god, the map, we ran out of map, oh, it's just a building, wings, and that's, so I'm still upset, I want, I want that sword, you know, I don't know what it is, but I want it, it looks really cool, and the fact that I can't have it is really, you know, like, it's like, I should go back, I should go back, maybe, if we find the coffin, you know, again, we only have about 30 minutes of the in-game timer at the top of the screen there, that's when I'm dead, um, no matter how skilled I'm doing, that's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, it did say to the lurking horrors and beyond, so maybe you just gotta beat the game. Beat Contra to get Bill. Oh, a nuke sounds great. There we go. That's glorious. Uh, base damage up by five. Let's go with the cross. Yeah, now you're gonna let me walk across all this goopity goop. Oh, these guys are sturdy. Where are we at? We're down here. Okay, if we can make it all the way over there. Trying to make it to another thing that I'm um, burning. I don't remember what burning does. I mean, it probably just like a little bit of AOE around me, but that's the dangerous thing. That's not even close enough for me to. 
It's probably a build that's, you know, like, that's a great thing to have. Or maybe I'm, like, missing a cue. There might even be some button presses, you know? Like, the initial game did have, you know, you just walk around and that's it. But uh, Lord knows by the time, by as much DLC as they've added to the game, there might be some of these weapons, some of these utilities, some of these whatever that actually allow you to, um press some buttons, make some special things happen, you know, it would be weird that it didn't pop up on the screen, but I've also skipped a lot of prompts in my day, so who knows, I'm almost there, Bill. So that's kind of the decision you gotta make, right? Like, are you gonna work towards a goal, or are you just gonna, like, <clears throat> grind towards it? Now, that'd be, once you get him, you know, like, once I actually get Bill, this coffin, you know, he's off the map, so... Um, there may be other pickups on the map, but they'll just be kind of to help with runs in the future. They won't necessarily be to... You want to get the attract orb up to the point where, essentially, as you're walking away, you can kill them and still get their experience. Alright, these yellow Cyrax are good things. Their things are actually getting pretty tight. Oh, right, yeah, duh. Yeah, that's the end of the map. Alright, I don't know if that's down there at the bottom, but I want the question mark. I need Bill. Yeah, they just modeled a whole level up again. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I'm all over this because the game definitely forces you to be all over the place, you know, like this is nature playing the game. But I only record myself in 30-minute intervals, so I figured this was a good game to, like, you know. Oh, yeah, those are, like, very basic Contra weapons. All right, where yeah, is it going there? Oh, there's the coffin. All right, I was staring right at it, just didn't get it. Just grab it. If I remember correctly, don't you have to do something? Thank you, Portal Adana, but the vampire is in another coffin. Bill Riser joins the survivors.